Anyways, are some dreams literal? Uh, yeah, can be. If you're a literal person, you're gonna have literal dreams. You're gonna have a lot of literal dreams. If you're a very literal person, then a lot of your dreams are gonna be very literal. <laughs> Because your dreams are reflections of how you're using your mind. So if you're a goofy person, you can have a lot of goofy dreams. If you're very, if you're a very bland and dry person, you're gonna have very bland and dry dreams. <laughs> I've lost my son in April. I've only had one dream about him. Do you believe he could be visiting me? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm not now. I'm not saying that that was that that one dream was a visitation dream, but I'm saying, oh yeah, absolutely. Visitation dreams are very real. Let's go back to it, y'all. Let's get back. To scroll so far. <laughs> like I said, when you are going to sleep at night, in your dream. You are shifting from the physical body in the third dimension to the astral body within the fourth dimension. So that means that, you know, yes, you are no longer, you are not here. When you, when you are unalived, you no longer have a physical body to come back to, but you still have a soul. You still have a spirit. You're still in the fourth dimension, right? So when you, every single, every single night, when you go to sleep, you're in the neighborhood of your past loved ones who have passed on. You know what I mean? So you can call them up. Hey, man, I'm in your neck of the woods, man. I just touched down. Where we at? Where we going? Where we linking? You know what I mean? So what I would suggest to you is go, go on to TikTok and search Metaphysical Master Visitation Dream. Search Metaphysical Master Visitation Dream. I have instructions in there on what to do in order to create a visitation dream. So you said he only came and, and, and met with you once. The way you describe that, I am pretty certain that that's a visitation dream, but there's ways to identify that, you know, um, the quality of the dream, the feel of the dream is just different. You know what I mean? It's just a different dream than a normal dream. It feels different. And also, you know, they, their mouths won't move, things like that. So, uh, so go check that out. Um, cause you can, you can incubate a visitation dream and have them come visit you. I lost my twin sister at birth. Do you believe I'll ever meet her? Uh, possibly. Do you have a younger sister or a younger sibling? They could have come back into the same body. I mean, I know some people uh, who they had their oldest daughter uh, was they were originally pregnant um, earlier on and they had a miscarriage. And then they did these readings that, that we do um, and found out that that soul chose to not incarnate into that body because the parents still had more to learn. Then like four years later, they be, they are, are they have another child and it's born. And then they have a crossing reading done with that child. It's like, oh, this is the same child from the baby that, that passed away. You know I mean, my sister had twins and lost those. My sister had twins and lost those. And then now she has two boys that are three years apart. You know what I mean? And so I, it's it's no question to me, those are the same, the same souls. Be right back, fam. Okay, Jeff, we'll see you when you get back. I don't have thoughts because I prefer to use the eyes. Whatever you say, Marquis. <laughs> what was what was the what was the thought that that this this right here was you physicalizing a thought? <laughs> oh man, would you happen to know about people using psychics to dream walk or astral surf? Um, I mean, do you mean like psychic, like psychedelics to do that, or psychics? Like, because you can't use a, like I can't I can't have any other psychic dream walk for me or astral project for me. <laughs> I mean. So, uh, I don't know if I'm understanding the question wrong. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's get back to the front for more dreams. I done missed a lot of dreams, but if people still here... Share your dream. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome, Victor. You're very welcome. So, yeah, what other dreams or dream questions does anyone have? I might have to take y'all with me to go get some more tea. <laughs> okay. Amy Jenkins says, what would a dream mean lost in the woods? Hold on, let's pin this. What would a dream mean lost in the woods surrounded by tall trees and a loved one guided me out? 
Okay, so the woods is going to represent the subconscious mind. Trees, you know, like your belief, trees will represent like the strong beliefs that are rooted within your mind, right? So like, like a tree, a thought is planted into the subconscious mind. And the more you energy you feed it, the more it's going to grow. And the further and strong, bigger that it grows, it becomes a big tree. It goes from a plant to a tree. So the trees are like the longest standing thoughts within your mind, which are your beliefs. Because a belief is just a thought that you continue to think. Oh, Meowser shared the live. They got to follow. A belief is just a thought that you continue to think. So your, your thoughts that you fed the most energy into represent the trees. So it's going to represent your beliefs. And so there's a way in which you are... Uh, guiding yourself through understanding what it is that you believe. So when, when did you have this dream? Someone who passed. Oh, someone who passed was the one who guided you? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. That might have been a visitation dream. That very well might have been a visitation dream, especially if it was in like the woods, because that's going to represent the subconscious mind. You know what I mean? So, so if it's someone who passed... Yeah, did the did the dream, Amy Jenkins, did the dream feel like it was uh, a different quality than a normal dream? Yes. Oh, I don't know if yes was the answer to that question because I just said it. Because if the dream felt like it was a different quality than a normal dream, then there's probably definitely a, a visitation dream, that loved one coming back to visit you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the way you described it in the woods, that because the woods is going to represent subconscious mind. Um, so you probably definitely had a visitation dream there. Beautiful, beautiful. And then thus, that is going is helping you guide on what you believe because that probably also shifted your beliefs. Because even, whether you have a visitation dream or a precognitive dream or a lucid dream, you can still apply the universal language of the mind to gather the interpretation. Just like you can t use the universal language of the mind to interpret your current life experiences that you're having in the physical right now to gain more insight into what you're experiencing. I had a dream that six black, large, triangular people lifted me and my daughter towards the sky. Your thoughts? Beautiful. So a triangle will represent creation, and the sky will represent superconscious mind. So you And the number six represents intuition. So intuition is the power of the subconscious mind. So you are creating a stronger unification within yourself of your conscious, subconscious, and superconscious, of your physical body, your soul, and your spirit. You know what I mean? Let me show you. Okay, so your conscious mind here, the number six represents intuition, which is the power of the sub, su subconscious mind, and the sky represents the superconscious mind. So there's like a unification here. And, and the triangle has three sides, so it represents creation. So there is a way in which you are creating more intuition and unification within uh, of all three minds, the conscious, subconscious, and superconscious, which is going to create more awareness and transcendence for you. And also create more intuition itself. <laughs> it's a powerful dream. So what I would suggest with that dream is I would suggest looking at when you had that dream and what was going on the day or two before that dream. You know, was there some kind of meditation that you were doing? Was there some kind of breathing exercise that you were doing? Was there some sort of shift, a paradigm shift in your consciousness? What was it that caused that alignment within yourself so that you can better identify what caused it so you can better replicate it in the future? Thank you. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. A lot of shifts. Okay, I bet. I bet, because that sounds major. That sounds like a major alignment. That ain't nothing, you know what I mean? I said it like it was like, oh, that's just like this. But that ain't nothing simple. You know what I mean? That's that's a major shift that's going on. I still, to this day, can't figure out where she was telling me to go. Oh, wait, I must have missed something. Frequency rising. Uh, I don't see your first drink or your first comment. I still, to this day, can't figure out where she was telling me to go. I don't know. Have I lost, Sonny, have I lost my blessing? Have you lost your blessing? I don't know what that means. The etymology of the word blessing is to uh, something you bless, you only bless something you're going to sacrifice. So unless you're sacrificing some part of yourself for elevation, the universal law of sacrifice, something's being sacrificed at all times. What makes the spirit a dimension above the soul? The spirit isn't a dimension above the soul. The spirit is the vehicle that you use in order to experience that higher dimension. Just like the soul is the vehicle that your consciousness uses to experience a higher dimension than the than the 3D. So like, 
For example, think of it like this, right? You go out and you get into a car. A car is the vehicle that you use to traverse the roadways. Just like the physical body that you have is the vehicle that your consciousness uses to traverse the pathways in life. But say you take that car and you go to a, a lake and then you hop into a boat. A boat is a different vehicle that you use to traverse the waterways, a different plane of existence. Or say you take that to a plane and you hop into a plane, which is a different vehicle that you use to traverse the airways. So these are just different vehicles to use to traverse these different dimensions. They are higher frequencies. The soul is more dense. The reason it's higher and lower is because the soul is more dense than the spirit. And the physical body is more dense than the soul. Matt Black share the live. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. They get a follow. The sun turning off and people acting locos. <laughs> now nah, the sun gonna be there. It'll still be there. Yes, I felt it. Super powerful. Beautiful. I bet you, I bet you did, boy. <laughs> I bet you did. All right. Why did my sister-in-law who passed visit me in my dream and not her mother? Her mom is devastated. It may be because you were more open. You know what I mean? She might have went to visit her mom, but maybe her mom doesn't remember any dreams ever. And so she might have went to visit her, but her mom doesn't doesn't remember because she doesn't have, recall her dreams. If I if if her mom is open to this sort of thing, working with dreams, I would either um, Amy Jenkins. I would suggest that you go and um, here. I'm going to type it in. Go search here on TikTok this. Go search this on TikTok and either forward that uh, video to her or just take the information, do your best to understand it, and then just offer that information to her. Because she can she can create a, a, a visitation dream. She can incubate a visitation dream and ask her daughter to come visit her at any time. You know, But she would want to start working with her dreams and start working with writing them down regularly for like, two to three months minimum, and then do the technique that's described in that in that video in order to incubate a dream, or a visitation dream, have her daughter visit her. But it's probably just the reason that it happened to you and not her is you're more open to it. Like not just not just you're more open to her coming and visiting, but your your conscious mind is more open to the experiences and realities of the subconscious mind. It's easier for you to jump into the fourth dimension and, and experience things and be and remember those experiences. Sweet. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Every time someone passes away, they always come to me in my dreams. Powerful. Powerful. That is huge. That is major. I have the same experience. <laughs> I have the same experience. Sometimes I visit with them before they even go. Or they visit with me uh, sometimes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I thought spirit was a vessel for the soul to embody, not the other way around. Hey, you know, I might, I might be bullshitting. Find out, find out for yourself. Find ways to experience your soul, experience your spirit. I know it to be true because of the experiences I've developed, but I don't want you to just change your beliefs based off something I've said. You know, no one here should be believing a word that I say, you know, but find ways to practically apply these metaphysical concepts into your life so you can create an experience for yourself so that you can know what is true and what is not. You know what I mean, universal law. Yes, that's it. Nope. The experience is the difference. Oh, yeah. oh wait, that's the one I... That ain't going to be it either. That ain't going to be it, is it? Nope. What about this? Universal law of manifestation. Law of believing and knowing. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I knew I'd find it. <laughs> 
So, uh, you know, believe the, don't just believe anything I say. Thanks for helping me with my questions. Absolutely. You're more than welcome, brother. Absolutely. Spirit is before the individual soul. I don't know what you mean by before. Nicely said. Thank you. Thank you. Dreams that pour into your reality like you can't differentiate it if it really happened or dreamed it. Uh, what up, What's your question about those? Uh... Man, I keep on wanting to say Carrie. I forget what you said your name was. I keep on wanting to say Carrie. You said it earlier. Jade. Uh, I know I'm missing a letter. Capri. Capri. I knew I was missing one letter. Capri. Okay. I'm going to commit that to memory. Capri. Ah, uh, what causes dreams to pour into reality like you can't differentiate if it ever really happened or dreamed it? Um, awareness. Awareness. And really, your awareness of and memory, really. So, uh, Capri, what I would what I would suggest is uh, when you get into the Discord chat, there's going to be a, a a thing that says resources, a channel called resources. Go in there and do the memory exercise. Click the memory exercise. It's, it it doesn't really take very long out of your day, but practice that memory exercise every single day. That's going to increase your memory. And then that alone is going to help you differentiate between an experience that you had, whether it was real or not, whether it was a dream or regular life. Um, but your awareness also, and that, that exercise is also going to cause you to naturally become more alert and aware and present-minded to where it'll be easier for you to di differentiate those two things for yourself. But un unawareness is the main reason of why that happens. What causes that is unawareness. Source, spirit, soul, body. Oh, yes. Yes, exactly. Source, spirit, soul, body. But the thing is, it's like... You're Consciousness is your I am. Your individual ray of the creator's light. You know, source. When people say source, we're talking about this. The light of the, the light of all essence. The light of all essence. And then your individual ray of that light is your consciousness, your real self, your I am. And that uses these different, these three different vehicles. Yes, yeah, so true. Absolutely. Thank you. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. Capri, <laughs> you're more than welcome. Absolutely. Let's get back over here to the dreams. You know what, man? Hold on. Somebody was... Let me check something out, man. Because i seen on somewhere else somebody had... Uh... Content disclosure. No. Uh, I'm trying to get some... Uh... The captions. Hear your voice. No, I want to hear my voice. Uh, I'll figure it out later. Oh, well, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> but I thought there was a way to have captions on here, but oh, well. I got a little bit of water left. I'm going to have to go get some more, y'all, because not eating all day today. It has it has allowed for a wonderful day, though. Absolutely. <laughs> now you got it. There's captions on now. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess I just can't see them. They must have always been on there. I just I can't. I guess I just can't see them. What about two same dreams scratching a ticket I've never seen in one millions? Beautiful Montana. Whoever who else has had this dream? Throw a dollar sign in the chat if you ever had a dream like this or a dream about money. Did the full moon fast too today? Beautiful Trish. Trish doing the full moon fast. Beautiful. I, I was just talking about you earlier when I talked about the fast because you are the one who inspired me. So she's the mentee. The real Yanair is the mentee who asked me a question about fasting, and I talked about it and then inspired me. You know what? I haven't done a fast in a couple months, so let me um, let me go ahead and do a fast because I miss the summer solstice. I, I usually do it on um, at the change of the seasons. I usually do it at the spring equinox and fall equinox and the summer solstice and winter solstice, uh, but I didn't have a chance to do it with the summer solstice just based upon the way, ways that things lined up. Uh, so she's the one who inspired me to do that. So, I, so we both lined up on the full moon. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, uh, 